Okay. Go ahead. Friends, family, prospective classmates, it's often said that the pen is mightier than the sword. It's also said that simpler is better. And what is simpler than a pen? I say a pencil. But what good is a pencil without a pencil sharpener? So we did a pencil sharpener. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, so this is a picture of the overall product. It's uh, a lot slender than most um, other pencil sharpeners. Uh, these are our product pictures. We're, it's separated into uh, a few different parts. Um, so this is the overall, the base of it, basically. Um, yeah, I don't have it with me, but it's pretty tall. This one right here is what all the shavings go down into. It's like a little removable slot. Hi. This is the cat. And that moves the motor. This is another part. This is rotates the motor, and this one is another part. <laughs> so, yes. some product information. The function is that it sharpens pencil, pencils. The procedure is you put in batteries. Uh, you insert the pencil into the top hole, which triggers a sensor. It then rotates a blade, dropping shavings into the removable shaving holder. The environment is anywhere you want to put it. Uh, the cost is one dollar at a garage sale. That's where I found it. Our manufacturing origin is Westcott High Point, and the life cycle is that the plastic is molded to shape, and the electronics are built at a factory and shipped to Westcott High Point Manufacturing Center. They are then assembled, shipped to a warehouse, and then shipped to a store and bought by a customer. And then eventually it doesn't work anymore, and then you uh, throw it away. Then you buy. All right. So let's talk about part F. We did the continuity test, and it does conduct electricity. It is magnetic. Uh, the hardness only took the coating off, but also uh, when I used the caliper, it scratched a little bit. Uh, the mass is 17.9 grams. The volume is 7.5 milliliters. The density is 2.39 grams per milliliter. The surface area is 2.87 cubic inches. And with the hand flexure test, it does not bend. Can I go back to that slide? Hello. So you have an area that has a volume unit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. checking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is our properties. And our yeah. So, G. Uh, so for the it does not conduct electricity since it's plastic. It's not magnetic. Uh, for the hardness test, there were small scratches on the surface. Nothing too big. Its mass is 2.2. Volume is 3.2. Density is 0.68. And the surface area is four cubic inches. For what? The inflection test it does not get. Surface area is what? It's uh, square inches. Oh, okay. Square All right. Inches. Just checking if learning it happened. No, we got the last our fingers are kind of fast, so they hit three okay. instead of two. Right. We know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, this is our inventor model. It's kind of spiky. I know. Um, so the recyclability. Uh, so for part F, you have to break it down into a few smaller components. So uh, you have the copper wire and the metal components. And these can be recycled at a computer slash metal material recycling center, such as American Scrap Company in Des Moines. And then you have the plastic rotator on the end over there, and that's ABS plastic, so we're assuming it was 3D printed. And it can be recycled at any specialized plastic recycling facilities. And then same with the other part, part G, it's also ABS plastic, and it can be recycled at any of those facilities as well. Thank you. All right.